Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in to Dr. Vine Delilah and let's jump into it because I do have some concerns this particular time. Yes, I am seeing that my sister is going through it. I'm seeing a Bonnie and Clyde type couple that has just reunited. I'm seeing you have reunited with your exes. You have reunited with your ex and it is causing all types of confusion and uproar in your community. Yes, this is what I pulled intuitively. And we see that it's causing all types of uproar in the community. And I just want to know why. It's a lot of gossip on y'all right now. Everybody is talking about y'all getting back together. I'm getting very serious Aquarius and Taurus energy. So we got some earth sign energy. We got some air sign energy. And everybody is talking about y'all getting back together. And you know me. I'm nosy. So I just want to know why. Like, why does everybody care that you got back together with your ex? Like, people don't jump back into it with their exes every summer, right? So with that being said... Let's jump into it. What is the energy? What is the energy, Divine Mother? What is the energy for this electric Aquarius and Taurus couple that is coming together right now that has everybody talking? Okay, so we see generations. So this is not new. Y'all have a very old relationship. Y'all have gone through this before. And it wasn't horribly positive because we pulled enlightenment in the reverse so I'm seeing y'all may have been together since y'all was kids and things are just, things are just coming back together in a crazy way. Um, y'all got away from each other because at one point y'all were addicted to it, addicted to each other. Okay. And y'all had to go in here to pull back. Y'all got away from each other for a while and started a new beginning. Y'all started a new beginning at some point, but I see something that pulled y'all, something that pulled y'all back together, honey. Okay. At one point, this man was your rescuer. This man was your rescuer. But something changed. Something changed. And you feel like this man violated you at one point. Okay, so we know y'all have a really wild past. Y'all have a wild past. And we are able to see that. We're able to see a past between y'all that has a lot of ups and downs. And it's also a past that goes back very far. So y'all jumping back together. I see this must be something else. Because it seems like people are shocked. People want to know what's going on. How did y'all fall back together? They want to know what's tea. After all that y'all been through, after the way that y'all put each other through it, and at one point y'all was addicted, then y'all got back together again, tried to start over. He used to rescue you, then he ended up violating you and putting you through it. Mm -mm -mm. And now y'all are back together. Y'all was keeping it on the low for a while. Y'all was keeping it close. Y'all was keeping it mysterious. Nobody in the hood knew what was going on. Nobody knew what was going on between this Taurus and Aquarius couple. It was very low key. Um, and it felt divine. It felt divine. When y'all got back at, uh, got back together and y'all was keeping it under the cover, it was feeling good. It was feeling good. It was feeling great. I see y'all got back together maybe around autumn of 2022. Everything was going so good. Everything was going so good. There was nothing outside. Nobody was putting any foul messages in. We see messaging from the outside. Messaging is in the reverse. We don't see it. We don't see any messaging coming in. Things was going well. Things was veiled. They were going well. Everything was balanced between y'all. Everything was cool. And y'all was just keeping it undercover. Nobody really knew. It was very fulfilling. It was very fulfilling what y'all had going on. But you know something? Something changed. Something changed because we want to know why the neighborhood is talking. And the neighborhood is talking because something has obviously changed. Because we see for a minute, y'all was kicking it on the low and everything was going great. So what changed? Why is everybody suddenly talking about this? We see him coming back with boyfriend energy. He was trying to be with you. He was very serious. Mm. This is a double major deck, so we have two of every card. This man may have a little alcohol problem or something like that. He's gluttonous. He falls off into things. He came back in, right? He came back in with some really great boyfriend energy. He was on the up and up. Next thing you know, he's drunk and he's going backwards. He's drunk and he's going backwards. And we got the horse leading him. So yeah, his heart was still involved, but he fell off into some bad habits. He fell off into some bad habits. But you were still trying to be there. 
You were still trying to be there for him. You were still trying to caress him, finesse him, make him feel good about himself. You didn't just bail on him. You didn't just jump up and bounce. You were still trying to be there. You saying, you know, when we starting over, we starting over and I'm going to try to be there. I'm going to try to hang in there with you. But this man is controlling. This man is controlling. He thinks he knows everything. And he's very controlling. And even if you're trying to give your best self to the situation, you know, he's a know-it-all. He's coming in with this Aquarius energy. And he ended up catching some hella fire karma. Some hella fire karma behind how he was treating you, how he was controlling you, how he was pushing you around. And Spirit said, not today. Not today. He caused some serious karma. He caused some unbelievable karma. And he's still being very prideful. Even though he brought this all down on himself. This man is being so freaking prideful. It's sickening. It's sickening. By the way, King of Swords, that's Aquarius energy. So this man is being detached and prideful as a result of the karma, y'all, that he pulled down on himself. Sis, he pulled karma down on himself. And here you are just trying to maintain control emotionally because you like, I can't believe this fool took me down this road again. Like, is he serious? And he's sitting there just being prideful, just being hella prideful. And you ended up being the one pulling the, pulling the ship, being in the chariot position, holding the relationship together. And as a result, y'all have gone into a period of silence. After all of this history and stuff that you've had with this man, Y'all found y'all in a period of silence because he wanted to act a damn fool and be prideful. And be prideful. In the middle of what y'all went through, he decides, this is a great time for me to be prideful. And now he's sitting back contemplating. Contemplating commitment to you. Now all of a sudden he's acting unsure. But he thinks he wants to put this thing back together. He is thinking everything blew up, by the way. Everything blew up. But we see the strong man coming back in thinking, you know what, but maybe I can put this thing back together. But everything blew up. This is a mess. Because the reason it's a mess is because this man came into the situation. And he wanted to party and get drunk. He came in acting like he was all for the boyfriend role. And then he reverted back to being a lush to being in the streets, to kicking it, and just relying on the fact that you was going to be there no matter what. You see what I'm saying? And as a result of him thinking you was going to be there no matter what, he was up here being controlling, not listening to nobody, being in that Aquarius, I know, I know what I'm doing, type energy, and he ended up pulling some hella fire karma down on himself. Oh, okay? So he ended up really feeling that. So this is what the hood is talking about. This is what the hood is talking about. Whatever this man's karma was, and let's go ahead and look into that. What was this man's karma? What was this man's karma? What was this man's karma? Because it went down for him. And everybody is talking about it. And everything blew up and he's sitting back thinking of how he can try to get his pride back. How he can try to get everything back the way he wants to. But this thing blew up in his face, something terrible. What happened? What happened to our little Aquarius friend? Okay, so he came in thinking he was going to betray somebody. You know, he was just going to do him. He was just going to do him. This is the problem with him in the past that y'all had. Because we saw he violated you in the past. This is how he violates. He betrays. He betrays. And he tried to betray you. And he ended up being the one dealing with all the stress. He ended up being the one dealing with all the stress. And him trying to betray you, I'm seeing you stressed him the hell out, sis. I tore it, sis. She stressed him the hell out. She wasn't having it. She wasn't having it. She told him he could marry her and get the hell out. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we look at the number four. One of four, one, four of wands, right? We know four is all about security, stability. So she said, you got to bring some security and some stability and some passion up here or you actually can get the hell out. You actually can get the hell out of here. We ain't got to do all this. And that was the thing that set him into some type of fit. Like this is what started the karma for this man. Because as we see here, here go the will of fortune. This man started going right into his point of faith. 
This was the wheel that, that, that set everything in motion, that created the controversy. Because he refused what she said. When she came at him like that, this started the destiny because he refused the offer. And when he refused that offer, all types of shit blew up in his life. Because, you know, our sister here, she is a divine feminine woman. And not only that, she is the dark divine because that's who I, I mostly want to say we, we resonate with. We're reading for the dark feminine. Hello. And this is the type of woman that's going to stand up for herself. She believes in her ability to seduce and to do her thing. Period. Okay. And she spoke up. And him who came and sought her out and thought he was just going to be able to do him no matter what, when she spoke up, everything blew up for this man. Now we see that he thinks he's going to be able to put it together in the end. But everything blew up for this man. When he refused her, everything blew up for him. And she remained in her power, in her dark divine, in her witchiness, with her familiars, with her spirit on point. She said, perched. Okay, while he sat there and was going through some form of hell off to the side for what he decided he was going to try to do. Yeah, for what he was going to try to do. Come in with the little boyfriend, little, little fake boyfriend vibe. Remember, this is the third time we pulled the Knight of Cups in this reading. So the Knight of Cups is very strong energy in this. This man tried to come in and play the Romeo role. He was super smooth. But we saw when we pulled that second Knight of Cups. They came in drunk. They came in on that horse backwards. This man was coming in, but he thought he was finna really be on some of that I run this dusty action. He was finna be throwing back bottles of Patron, Hennessy. He was gonna be going to the nightclubs. He was gonna be doing his thing. And since you was just gonna be sitting there happy to have him back because of what went down in the past, because of how y'all fell apart and ended up one minute addicted to each other, the next minute we apart, break up to make up type relationship. He thought, oh, I'll just get her back on that. And then I'm going to go on back and continue to do me. He thought he was going to be the one in charge of the relationship. Now, knowing that this woman has stepped into her dark feminine divine, the days of running her, like back when they was kids, baby, those days are long over. That lady is so not in that space. And she let him know. You better come in here with a ring or some money or some stability or some security or I'm really not even the person you want to be speaking to these days. And that blew this man's man. And nothing worth mentioning happened to this woman other than the fact that she stayed perched and in her divine feminine, doing her thing, living her best life, while Mr. I'm trying to be your boyfriend, Roger Trauman, I'm trying to be your man, was still hoping to get a union going with her. He was still hoping to get a union going with her. Okay. And why didn't he get that union? Divine Mother, we're seeking clarification. What happened? He didn't get that union because of his ego. Of his ego. So this man is an egomaniac. We see this from this Aquarius. Um, we saw a lot of really bossy energy. And the way this went down... The way everything blew up in his face. And he rejected this woman flat out. When she came to him and let him know, you really want to make a serious commitment or get away from me? He had a fit. He had a whole fit. And this man blew up in so much range at rage and anger while she sat composed. This is what everybody is talking about. This man made a scene. This man made a whole scene. And he actually thinks after making this scene, humiliating himself all because of his little tired ego, he thinks he's going to be able to just come back into your life, girl, when he's ready with this same Knight of Cups energy. With this same Knight of Cups energy that we have seen three times throughout this reading. Three times we've seen this. This Knight of Cups energy that he thinks he's just going to come back in your space with. You know what? It's amazing to me what people think they can get away with. But what we want to know, because this is a badass couple. Remember, initially, we, we pulled this and we knew we was looking at some Bonnie and Clyde energy. So we see now, this is a dark divine woman. She speaks her mind. She does her thing. This man has an ego and he thinks somebody's supposed to be afraid of him. And maybe a lot of people are. But let's just say this. She is not one of them. Okay? Okay. 
She does what she wants to do. So this couple right here is very badass. So let's find out what's really going to happen with them. Let's see what vibes are present. These people are still addicted to each other, low key. Okay? These people are still addicted to each other. And they go through cycles. So they are off right now. But this is a cyclical relationship and it will crop up again. Even though right now in this moment they're off. But on again, off again, that's the way they move. This is a trauma bond relationship. These people traumatize each other every time they get into it. And it's always a scene or something for people to talk about. But they get back together down the line. They both need to heal. Both of these people need a lot of healing. And finally, where does this relationship go? Where does it end up? What becomes of this couple? Do they go off into power couple heaven? Or do they go off into Bobby and Whitney Houston hell, honey? Because we remember what Bobby and Whitney was giving. Divine Mother. Seeking clarity. Okay, so we do see some strength in their bond. Especially her. We see her nurturing him. As he's coming back from this point of rage, she's still there. This woman is very mothering when it comes to him. This Taurus woman, she's very mothering towards him. The communication still occurs between them. She has herself together. Mentally, spiritually, all that. This lady has herself together. She makes her own money. She's a very independent woman. She's not needy. We see him still being controlling. And this is where we see that Bonnie and Clyde energy. We see the emperor with him thinking he runs it. But we see this lady is independent. Yeah, she might be a queen of cups. You know, she might have that sweet mother and energy. But baby, uh-uh, you're not just running over her. She got her own money. She got her own thing. And he's going to really get seriously considering taking her up on her offer and doing something serious. We got this justice card. This justice card. We're looking at balance. We're looking at contracts. We're looking at agreements. He actually is going to sit in serious contemplation to say, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and do this for her. He's going to sit down and think about it for real. Because they've been through a lot, these two people. They have been through a lot together. But there's still some confusion with her. She's confused. She's not sure about him. She still has her uncertainty in regards to him. Um, but she does still get some level of fulfillment from him. These people must have a really rich history. So she made her demand with him. We see that Queen of Swords energy. She spoke her mind and she wasn't playing no games. She's going to stand on her truth. She has very high expectations for him. And she is willing to consider it. Seriously consider it. Seriously look at it. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And we see these people coming to some type of terms of truth. They do speak some kind of truth to each other. There's some honesty. These people come into a bond through honesty. They both tell each other the truth about some things they've never spoken about before. This transforms the relationship. When these truths come out between them, they both look at things for what they are and speak these truths. This transforms their relationship. We see things getting very cold for them at a point. Both of them kind of walking away from things that have been traditional to them. Do they go out in the cold together? Because that's very typical I've seen for Bonnie and Clyde couples or couples that uh, one of the partners is married. They decide to ride or die. Ride or die. So we're just going to clarify this five of pentacles. Does this, couple go, does this couple decide to ride or die together? Is that what our Bonnie and Clyde decide on? Eight of pentacles. They decide to work hard and focus on each other. This couple is ride or die. And even though it's going to cause a stir in the hood, these people are going to really ride or die together. It's very far from over. Once they tell each other their truth, like this is who I am, this is who I am, this is going to take them into that Scorpio energy that's going to turn them into that ride or die couple. That's going to focus on sticking that thing through. Even through the cold times. Walking away from tradition. 
taking the rough path. So that's what we see. It's going to cause a scandal in the, in the hood. It already caused a scandal in the hood, and it's going to continue to do that. Uh, that's what it gives. And this is what it's going to be. Good luck to y'all. Very interesting. We did find out what all the conversation is, what the stir is. And I'll see y'all next time.